Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video I'll be painting one of the Megath Lords, Blow Up Rot Spawned to be precise. But I'll be focusing on his mighty steed, the Pux Megath. This disturbing and weird mount is something to behold. Let's begin, shall we? I bought some of the newly released shades and I'm very curious how they'll look. After priming the model with Wraithbone, I cover it with Mortarian Grime. I do like the look of this new shade. To add more depth and variety, I use Plague Bear Flesh to paint areas that have clusters of pustules or should have more shading. Next, I use Fire Slayer Flesh to paint the weird bulbous sack underneath his maw and his limbs. To blend this contrast paint, I first apply it. Then I rinse my brush and while the brush is still wet, I use it to drag the contrast paint across the limbs. This will disperse the pigment and help blend the new color. I have another new shade called Berserker Bloodshade. I use this mainly focused on the deep recesses and the fleshy limbs from the previous step. On top of that I use Carolberg Crimson. This red shade has a more purplish hue and that works really well to simulate bruised skin. For the deepest of bruises, I use a Druki Violet. Here I have a good starting point for the mount. I like to vary it up with skin tones. And with Nurgle there are so many ways to paint diseased flesh. I want the Pox Magath to look unique in my existing army. Let's get to highlighting. When highlighting such a big model, I usually do some dry brushing first. I use Deepkin Flesh on the pale areas. On the fleshy areas, I dry brush Kistle Flesh. The dry brushing helps determine where my highlights are going to be. I came back with Deepkin Flesh on the pale skin, but this time with a brush. I fed her on the paint. Personally, I think this looks way better than painting lines, as this blends more with the previous steps. I do the same with Kistler Flesh on the fleshy areas. To paint the pale skin, I highlight with Palette Switch Flesh. And I highlight the fleshy parts with Usapti Bone. The skin of the Pax Magath steed is now complete. But there are so many small details on this model that we are far from done. Next, I'm going to work on the most time consuming part, which is. Pustules! There are so many on this model, and I paint them all with Usapti Bone. Then I use the contrast paint Yenden Yellow to make them all gross and yellow. And I finish with a highlight of Screaming Skull. Painting things gross doesn't mean you can do a rushed job. Take your time and focus on the details. It's daunting, but painting all these pustules will make your Nurgle model look so much grosser. To break up the light colors I have here, I'm painting all the horns and the inside of the mouth with Leviathan Blue. 
I shaved the horns with known oil. I went with two or three coats, depending on the streakiness of the Leviathan blue. The first highlight is Dark Reaper. The second highlight is Thunderhawk Blue. And I finish with a highlight of Verizian Grey. Note that I did not paint every horn this color. I will be painting a few in the more traditional bone color for variation. Let's do that right now. The two hooves on his hind legs are base coated with storm Furman fur. I shade them with Ethonian camo shade. And I highlight with Eusepti bone. While in this stage, paint all the teeth and remaining horns with Eusepti bone as well. And I finish with a highlight of Creek Khaki. All the teeth and remaining horns are now shaded using Skeleton Horde Contrast Paint. And then highlight it with Screaming Skull. The Pox Maggoth is coming together nicely. Now it's time to paint some disgusting details. There are several open wounds where the flesh has been ripped away from the model. I base coat these with Hopgrat Hide. Then I stipple on Everland Sunset. And I stipple on a highlight of Usapti Bone. To finish, I shade the wounds with Therapim Sepia. These wounds now look like the fat underneath the skin is showing. We will make this look more gross in a later step. There are several stomach options for this kit, but only one was worthy for this painting tutorial. First, I pick some random bits and paint these with Kislev Flesh. I do the same with Pink Horror. Pick some organs and paint them. Any organs that remain, I paint with a mix of Pink Horror and Gene Stealer Purple. I make sure to leave the skeleton stuck in the guts unpainted. Next, I shade all the guts and skeleton with a watered down Volipus pink. I used Lamia medium to water down the paint. For a highlight, I pick palette switch flesh and paint some reflections on the shiny organs. To finish, I pick an old brush and paint Blood for the Blood God on the organs. I actually go around the model and add Blood for the Blood God everywhere I think it will look good. I mean, gross. If you have just a small amount of Blood for the Blood God on your brush, you can make the skin look really gross and disgusting. Kind of looks like tiny fissures of blood vessels have popped on the diseased skin and the maggoth is just leaking everywhere. Lovely. Let's get to some small details. First, I paint the eyes with Wraithbone. I also pick out all the maggots on the model and paint them as well. I paint the eyes with Blood Angel Red as I did with my other Nurgle demons. With Athonian Camo Shade, I shade all the maggots. 
and highlight them with palette switch flesh. For the weird stinger, I use Tesseract Glow to make it look like it's secreting some deadly poison. And to top it all off, I use Nurgle's Rot on all the open ruptures to make it look like he's leaking goo everywhere. Also add this to all the pustules, wounds and gore to appease our grandfather. The Pox Magath is now done, in all its disgusting glory. But there is one more thing that I need to paint. His special attack. The stream of vomit I paint completely with Zandri dust. As you can see I drilled the hole in the end and pinned it. This way it's much easier to hold on to. I add bits of Jokero orange to the vomit. And I also add bits of Mephiston red to get some bloody chunks in there. To make the vomit even grosser, I paint the Death Guard green on random spots. The entire stream is shaded with Serapim Sepia. Then I dry brush with Taloran Sand. Followed by a dry brush of Karak Stone. And of course, we end this with the application of Nurgle's Rot. And here we have the finished Magath Lord Blow Up Rot Spawned. I painted Blow Up himself the same way as I did with my Blight Kings. Check the upper right of the screen for a link to this video. The base was painted the same way as I did with all my Magathkin bases. A link can also be seen on screen right now. It's good to paint some Nurgle again. One of the few models I did not have in my collection yet. Next time I'll be revisiting a Nurgle model I have already painted. The Beast of Nurgle. I got a second one and I want to paint him differently than the one that I already have. In the meantime, be sure to check out my Instagram where I post pictures of current projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now, thanks for watching.